Gabby and Bert, I want you to help because our, our audience is a general oncologist. We, sit, we get in the weeds of all of this stuff and I still see routinely uh, patients getting sort of traditional chemo RT uh, surgery and then six months of adjuvant Folfox um, in, in a rectal cancer space because there's something magic about that. Um, and I think to, in defense of that position is they don't want to undertreat. They don't want to be wrong because this is curative therapy and they'd rather err on the side of too much than, than not enough. Are we at a point with the sort of cumulative evidence there that you don't need to give six months afterwards and is oxaliplatin critical for all patients. What's your take on that? Can we give them permission to back off a little bit? Well, um, first of all, I think that from what I've seen and also according to national clinical trials, mm -hmm. if you, patients receive neoadjuvant chemo radiation, the standard had been more like four months mm -hmm. of adjuvant chemotherapy. We don't need the six months like we do in colorectal cancer with Folfox. Um, so I think that the six months might be a little bit too much chemotherapy. And second of all, again, we do not know uh, who are the patients who really need that adjuvant chemotherapy in the first place? Because there are many patients that get, have T3 and 0 cancers. And um, at the time of surgery, they, they don't have any node positive disease. They are stable or downstaged. Uh, do we need to even give any chemotherapy to those patients? Uh, what about the pathological CRs? So I think uh, for, the, for, for the most part, four months of chemotherapy in the adjuvant setting is more like the standard and and second is we really truly don't know who should get maybe more aggressive chemotherapy maybe a four fox theory type chemotherapy mm -hmm. with for more aggressive tumors and maybe some who are the patients who don't need it at all yeah. and i think that's really uh, a big question yeah bert i'd love to hear your thoughts on on this and you also kind of hear well they were young they had a good performance status so i gave them more chemo sort of justifying <laughs> being meaner to younger people. What's your take on this sort of standard post-op or algorithm that I'm pretty sure you're seeing too on a referral pattern? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, I see a mix. I see a mix of people who come in who've had four months and, and six months. I, I, I'd give four months, mm -hmm. uh, as has been the case in the studies, but the reality is it's not a well-studied area. I mean, I think, unfortunately, it's still for many patients with rectal cancer, it is uncertain whether they should get any post-operative chemotherapy at all. Uh, and that makes giving people clear recommendations difficult. I think if you, you know, you know, in that case where you feel like it's important to give chemotherapy, four months is enough. If they're higher risk, I, I, I think a door suggests full Fox is a good idea. If they're lower risk, I, you know, I, I think it doesn't harm people to get four months of cape cytobine, and it probably doesn't harm them any more to get six months of cape cytobine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I don't like to see, though, are, are, are patients who have uh, long-lasting neuropathy yeah. after six months of treatment for either colon or, or rectal, but especially in rectal where you know those last two months, not really much guidance on that. And, um, and then when the neuropathy is ignored and you have these, young, again, younger patients with long-lasting neuropathy who have trouble working or doing the things that they enjoy, that's something I really hate to see. So I think following uh, the neuropathy carefully, because given it's, if anything, it's a fairly marginal benefit. Right. So why make them uh, disabled? So giving it all beforehand, before surgery, takes care of that. Because by the time you're done with surgery, you're done with you. and. Um, uh, and, and it moves on. So I get that. I get how that's a nice, neat package and, and easy to, and it's less gray afterwards and, and all of that. Let's go to two other topics and trying to put other people, not oncologists, out of business in the management of rectal.